waiting to make sure that this records. Here we go. Hello, everyone. Eva Medelec here. And I am actually coming to you right on the heels of President Biden dropping out of the race and endorsing Kamala Harris as the nominee for the Democratic Party. And so, you know, I'm I'm actually traveling throughout Europe for the summer and have not been on top of the news intentionally because, you know, everyone needs to take a break, right? However, you know, this was news you couldn't avoid no matter where you were in the world. And I am noticing a lot of different opinions from the right and the left about this. But I want to talk about a different aspect of this because I see a lot of people joyful that, you know, we may have an opportunity to have a female president yet again, have that opportunity, but not only a female president, but a woman of color as president of the United States of America. Now, I live in America. I also have some ties to Germany uh, to my husband. Um, and we are both American citizens and we'll be voting in this year's elections. But let me just tell you what's coming up for me emotionally. I do a lot of videos on emotions and feelings and processing your emotions and feelings before you react so that you can respond responsibly. And I'm in that situation myself with this announcement. And here's why. It's because she's a woman of color. It is because I am afraid, and I can pretty much guarantee that this will happen, that there's going to be a lot of racism and hate being stirred up in our country of America, where I live, over this nomination, over this candidacy, if you will. Um, I think there's still a process they have to go through before it's official, but that's not the point. As a woman of color, as a woman who has had to work twice as hard to achieve twice as uh, half as much, to, who has had to prove herself over and over again because of skin color and or because of being a woman, um, I'm frightened for her, but I'm also frightened for countless other women of color who have to listen to the rhetoric, who have to listen to the jokes, the, the racist jokes or jokes with racist undertones to them and how that's going to affect the, um, our emotional health and well-being during this presidential race. And I'm scared. I'm frightened. I'm actually not feeling as happy and excited um, for the possibility of a female president or a woman of color president as um, most people might expect me to be. And it's because I know that there is a certain part of our country who has so much covert and has been emboldened with overt racism that this is going to really be challenging. I mean, I think of, I actually think of Jackie Robinson and the taunts that he had to endure as the first uh, black baseball player in the major leagues. Um, and I'm really happy that they are recognizing the Negro League now and including their stats in baseball um, from what I heard. I don't have all the details of it, so I'm not gonna talk about it, but it seems like, you know, there's some restitution trying to be made for the fact that, you know, Negroes at the time, we were called Negroes, could not play in major leagues. And Jackie, Jackie Robinson broke that color barrier. It was hard. It was hard to endure. You know, if you are not a person of color, you have no idea the mental and emotional toll that this takes knowing that you are looked at differently, you are seen differently, you are having to be twice as good, which I think is a plus for a person who is running for office, right? You know, she's throughout her whole career has probably had to prove herself more than a white male would have, especially. 
But my point in sharing this to you is about emotions. It's about feelings. It's about processing. And so I just want to implore you, whether you have family members who are people of color, colleagues, um, friends, or as a person of color yourself, if you happen to be one, um, to know that this this can be an emotionally challenging time for um, your friends and your colleagues and your family members. And a lot of emotions can get triggered by the onslaught of people who choose that path of hate, who choose the path of exclusivity, division, racism, whatever you want to call it. And it's not going to be easy. We are going to have to really gird up our loins, if you will, and make sure that we have the grounded strength and energy to be able to um, handle some of the things that are going to come our way and may uh, spark some unpleasant emotions, if you will, um, trigger some trauma, um, trigger defenses, like all of the things are possible. And so if you are in a white body and you have friends of color, please be kind and patient and open and compassionate, if you will, about the range of emotions you're going to experience from the people in your life, right? You know, I see a lot of white people excited about this candidacy, not realizing the emotional toll, not only it's going to take on Vice President Harris, but on anyone who has to hear the hate that is thrown at her, that has been in that position before, that has had to prove themselves because they are a woman or a woman of color. And I know we have that reputation of being strong black women, but I have to tell you, honestly, from my own experience, um, we're exhausted and we endured a lot during um, President Barack Obama's um, tenure as president. And then we saw how the hate was unleashed after his term as president ended and it started to feel safe to, um, to discriminate and to, to show hate more often. People became emboldened. And that's what's coming up for me. That's what's triggering me. That's what's scaring me about um, her candidacy, if you will. And so I need to process the emotions that are coming up for me. And I wanted to be, to come on here and be honest and transparent with you that, um, you know, I'm actually a bit scared and emotional and teary eyed over it. And I'm hoping, you know, and I'm going to do the work to take care of my energy and emotions so that I can, um, you know, really um, enjoy celebrate, I think is the right word, celebrate the opportunity that women and women of color have to make a difference in our country in a bigger way and on a bigger um, stage and on a bigger platform. I think it can be incredibly exciting. I'm just not feeling it at the moment because I know it's going to be tough and we're going to have to endure and hear and listen to and experience uh, a lot of um, hateful rhetoric from people who don't agree with this. So my challenge to you is, um, number one, um, be cognizant of that possibility. You know, if you don't think your, your Black friends are as excited as they should be, or your Black free, female friends who are excited, I see a lot who are, but I also know internally what this can stir up. So, you know, it's an opportunity to be supportive, to you know, be vocal, uh, be an ally in your words and actions, knowing that this is possible for um, people of color in your life. And um, for those people of color who may not be doing the happy dance right now, <laughs> hopefully we will have a chance to later and maybe feeling some, some of the similar emotions, or if you're not feeling it now, you definitely may, may come up for you later. Please take care of yourselves. 
please take a break from the news and social media and nourish yourself with uh, support, with love and support from wherever you get love and support so that you can strengthen the, uh, the core of your being for things that may come up and trigger you. It's a very real possibility right now. And as someone who coaches people through triggers, you know, I'm in a position now where I get to practice what I, pre I'm always in a position to get to practice what I preach, but I really get to, you know, look at the emotions that are coming up for me. And right now I want to burst into tears if, I, if I'm being completely honest, like, oh my God, this is going to be so hard and so hateful. And you may see me as looking at the glass half empty instead of half full, but I'm just being honest about, I just found this out like not too long ago um, here in, in Germany. And um, yeah, I'm feeling a type of way about it. it it's not going to mean that I'm going to always feel this way, but it's a feeling and it's emotion that I'm not going to squash and, and um, push down with toxic positivity, but I am going to look at what that source of emotion is. Why am I feeling this way? What's coming up for me? And historically, it's knowing um, what women of color have had to endure and just seeing the trajectory of our country right now in the path of division and hatred that scares me that I think might be doubled down in, in this case. So I want to be proactive. I want to be prepared to not stoop low, but also to not be so emotionally affected by it that I can't function. I need to really, um, all of us need to really rise up in our leadership and practice the skills that we've been learning to show up as powerful leaders in our lives and how we can be that person that we say we want to be, be that best version of ourselves, show up on our A game in every area of our lives so that when we do feel the emotional triggers of what could come out of this ticket, you know, we are prepared to handle it with the best right action of integrity with the truest and best version of ourselves so that through it all, we can say that we showed up as powerful, um, gracious, compassionate leaders in our lives, personally and professionally, um, because we're going to be tested. I know it. And so sending you so much love and please let me know what's coming up for you now that you know that there is a very strong possibility whenever you listen to this um, this recording, it could have happened already, that we have a black female candidate running for president of the United States of America. What are you feeling emotionally? What are you excited about? What are you scared about? What is triggering you about all of this? I would love to hear. Please uh, like and share this video out if you know that your um, community would benefit from hearing what uh, a woman of color uh, who is not quite doing the happy dance just yet about this candidacy is thinking. And I think it just is helpful to see different perspectives and different point of, points of view about this. Anyway. I blabbered on long enough, uh, sending you all a lot of love. I hope this video was helpful. Please let me know in the comments and I will talk to you soon. Bye.